So hello friends, uh, of course in the meantime I got a few attempts of explanation of what's happening with the laser bioresonance system and of course I get them to my personal email, I don't get them as public comments and that's my first thing I want to talk about because it's really the problem of our culture that we think we have a right to discuss on thousands of blogs thousands of things that really make no difference like politics like fashion like uh, the media <laughs> like the latest news like the the public figures the stars and you know, when it comes to things where it really matters, spirituality and, and, and things like core that border at the that border at the spiritual, at the informational, suddenly <laughs> we have a forum without almost a single comment or post. And I know it's because of our culture that we don't see, we think we are individuals, we are free to express. And no, it's, as I say, it's, it's just an illusion. We are free to express uh, what our culture um, has taught us. And one of the things we can express is our total individuality when it comes to dressing uh, this stupid I'm a dummy clothes or what kind of car to drive or what kind of magazine to subscribe but when it comes to the real things we are just as as limited and and organized and imprisoned as all cultures before and after us because true true freedom uh, and individualism is not coming through following US American ideas it's coming through an individual work and, and, and struggle so that's the only first comment I want to make about the fact that I don't get any comments public comments so now the the few comments I got privately basically are saying well maybe it is a um, electromagnetic phenomena. How about if you think to replace the human person with a capacitance? Maybe it's an electrostatic phenomena. So that's that's the first uh, um, attempt to explain this phenomena. There I can say if there is any electrostatic uh, charge it must be very small because we could not measure it and if it's so small it could not certainly not be measurable from two meters distance second if you see in the first movie when I touch Deborah who is on the mat actually the effect gets stronger so this would be not the case if she was charged and the mat on the on the table would measure her charge because I was barefoot and I was just basically um, uh, I would have just basically discharged her now the the uh, the other thing is that if there was a charge in two meters distance we could not measure it and the most important uh, reason that I, I know this is not the explanation is that I know the mat on the table is not an input is not a sensor it's not a motion sensor or any sensor of electrostatic uh, radiation or field it is an output it's an output that you will when you touch it you feel the electricity coming out and this uh, show uh, also in the next few uh, videos 
this is really the real function of the, the laser about treatment, not about showing the biofield or showing this strange phenomena. So, and the other mat that you stand on is actually the mat that receives your any electrostatic or electro uh, any any electric um, voltage that you have in your body or any frequencies from your body so it's a receiver so now the next thing was well we don't think it's, it's not an electromagnetic uh, phenomena because for example this explanation of uh, maybe it's an electrostatic field and I think I was misunderstood when I, I read here this um, this in uh, the back side of this book here by Marco Bishop. Well, Marco, I hope you give me some <laughs> some good publicity next time in next of your book because I'm I'm giving you such good publicity here. But basically, here it says uh, that it's that the book is about a hypothetic life energy, a subtle energy that is not of an electromagnetic uh, uh, field nature or is basically an, an, an so today unknown field type and no I don't think this I believe but we, of course we'll find out more as it goes on I believe it's an electromagnetic or it's an it's an electric phenomena simply because all the machine all the mechanisms all the devices we work with are electromagnetic devices so why would they <laughs> suddenly measure something totally unknown but the difference that I see in comparing it with other until now suggested measuring uh, devices like Kirlian or polycontrast interference photography is that it can the human body so far it cannot be replaced by some something non-living and so how do I explain this whole um, this whole phenomena and I think that the key is that in all the phenomena until now uh, in all the attempts to to measure a biofield we just did what we always do with everything we uh, have the subject, the object, and then put up all our measuring instruments and um, then see if something comes out of the object. But this is the problem of our, of our today's science culture, that we don't realize that an object, especially <laughs> and most importantly, a living object always needs another polarity needs another something to create the DLE to create the tension so how about putting a, a naked girl next to a person where we measure <laughs> a biofield of course it has to be a man <laughs> but no I'm joke, joke aside but anything putting anything close to the person where we want to measure a biofield if we don't put something close, if we put him in a room that's possibly even totally grey like a hospital and we don't measure anything, does it mean there is no biofield? No, it means it's not being evoked at this time because there's nothing that gets the person out of his semi-sleep or almost semi-death state so that's, that's hospital philosophy today they don't see that by putting people in an environment that does not evoke any stimuli that has no stimuli, that has no polarity that creates uh, no incentive to communicate to put out energy that this is a way to kill people so and the same is with until now with all attempts to measure bio, a biofield now here, it's something new. 
we stand on a mat that has uh, it's just a receiver it's, it's just a measurement of frequencies and it can be shown on an oscilloscope so it's not something uh, unknown it's, it's, it's something that can be shown to any physicist but then the other thing is that on the table there's something that can give you energy it's a mat that is basically as a tense device the mat is an electro conductor and something in the human makeup knows that if I touch it I get energy so when I come closer to the source of energy I'm creating an excitement inside the body an, an, an energetic and an electric excitement because I know something is coming there <laughs> like going to a cow fence probably the same things to happen you know you'll get a shock of a 10,000 volt there and your own frequencies go up and we know this because informationally we are connected we don't have to touch to know what's good for us and what's not good for us so this is my explanation that we are not transmitting something to this mat on the on the table because it's not a receiver anyway no our body knows ah I'm getting some energy or <laughs> you we probably could put a, uh, uh, a naked girl there or a beautiful girl or some flowers or a nice painting uh, uh, a nice piece of art and then this stimulates our our energy field of course you see that's why I'm making these movies in places like this this is this is my philosophy and it's a living philosophy I'm surrounding myself with exactly these things that evoke energy and that's beauty and so I know it's 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 not something miraculous it's not tachyon organ scala or what not it is an electromagnetic phenomena but it's it the way it has been try uh, has been tried to show it was just not working you cannot show life human life or any life in a lifeless environment so that's basically the new philosophy and you will see in the next few videos that this is a nice effect and it will show the validity of a lot of my ideas but the main thing is it's a tool for healing and this is the, what I will show in the next few videos so stay tuned and uh, thank you for your attention